The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Welcome to the Art of Politics. I am Representative John Burt, and I am filling in for my good friend, and I am sure Ken's good friend, Representative Al Baldessaro. He's going to be out for the next uh, couple of uh, weeks, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yeah. And, and by well, the way, I thought you should introduce the show because you're going to take this show and you're going to play it up in Golf Town where you have a show. Yes. Yes, and well, and I really do appreciate you having me on. I, I always love coming down to Nashua because I have a lot of fun. And I had a lot of fun when I had my friend Al Baldessaro here. You know, as two of us. And you is, know, you're just full of it. Well, we, we, <laughs> we, we know that. Well, well, I, I hope people realize that immediately. This guy's full of it. He makes you laugh, but he's full oh, of it. Oh, yes, yeah. Well, that's what some say. Uh, but, you know, just for the uh, viewers of Goffstown, if you don't mind, well, I'll, I'll introduce you, uh, you know, your representative, Ken Gidge. I am. And yes. We'll, we'll, we'll shake hands. Yes. We always do. Too. And how is your lovely wife? Uh, my lovely wife. Oh, that's right. Uh, I, I forget. She is all also a state representative. Yes. And yeah. uh, this is her first term and only term. This oh, is, this is how she feels. She's not going to do it again. No. Yeah. Uh, in fact, it was kind of, she shouldn't have done it this time. Uh, but she's in, she's in Fish and Game where you were. Yes. You were in Fish and Game. Yes. And yeah. you went over to another committee and caused a hell of a lot of trouble. Is that correct? Well, <laughs> that's what they're telling me. <laughs> that's right. I'm stirring a little bit. Of, you uh, tell know. us about your show up in Gulfstown. How was it? Well, I, I love doing it. I, I've been uh, doing it for five years now. Uh, I started in 2010, and I can't believe that it's been that long. Uh, but I have, you know, quite a following. I get quite a few emails, and I really enjoy doing that. Uh, you know, I just love, you know, serving the, the so people. So they haven't thrown you off? No. No picketing? No, not yet. Okay, I'd you're... love to have protesters, but I haven't had any yet. Uh, occasionally, I'll get a, you know how I know that I had viewers? You know, at first, I wonder, who really Anywhere, bought, I get, Right. You know, right, imagine right. you wonder, yeah, you know, yeah. how many people in yes, Nashville yes. watch you? That's right. During the debate, during the primary, I threw one of the primary people kind of under the bus, you know, and said, look, you know, I, a nice enough guy, but I just didn't like his politics. And I said, you know, you, you know it's your vote, so you got to vote your way, but this is what I feel. Well, I got a ton of calls and really? emails on that one. So I said, wow. People are watching. No, people, people, I, I try to explain to people that these are small audiences that we have when we do these shows. Yes. All right? They're, they're compared to, they're small. But these are the people who are interested in their community, what's going on in their community. Exactly. These are the people who might take a $10 bill or a $20 bill to help you. Or if they don't do that, they might put a sign in their, their yard for you. Or they might, you know, be at the, you know, at the polls and holding a sign for a couple hours. These are really, really important people. Access television uh, programs like this, well, not necessarily this one, but 
uh, access TV where it's that free, where we can say what we wish, and anybody can get basically a, a program if they wish yes. and say what they want. So yeah. that's why it's a small audience, but larger than people believe. But yes. you would think when we need something or voting or they're there. Oh, absolutely. And, or they're not there. Yeah. And they will tell you. I know when I was holding a sign, uh, I've never had so many people telling me that they watched the show. I was shocked. Yes. Yeah, I, I do, too. I, I get like that. I it, One time I went to the Manchester Post Office only because I like getting in a long line, you know, because I'm from a small town. You like getting in a long <laughs> line. Well, you know. <laughs> Here we go. He should never. <laughs> All right. A long line. Wait, wait. You come from a small town. Yeah, so everybody knows so everybody. So you go to Manchester where there's a lot of people in long lines. Yes, because yep. I've never experienced it. So I got in the long line and I waited. And, you know, you hear everybody fussing. I'm like, what's the fuss, you know? Yeah, you know, these people are working as hard as they can, the workers, and, you know, they can only do so much. So they, I get up to the uh, one lady there, and I had my package, and she says, we finally meet. What? And, I, and I'm like, <laughs> I didn't know how to take it. I was like, I, I, I guess we do. Uh, well, my name is John Burt, because I figured she must have met me somewhere. So I said who I was, and she says, I watch your show. I live in Pernardville, which is part of Goffstown. Right. And she says, I watch your show every Sunday night at 8 o'clock. That's when it comes on. Oh, wow. And I was like, well, thank you. And she said she loves it. And it so, isn't that a small world? It, it, it's a small world, but, but people have to understand public access is so, so, so important to every single it is. it is. If people only realized you can't get your voice out anywhere else, you can't go to uh, TV9, you, you can't go to the, the papers, you no. can't say, and if you got on TV9, it's like three minutes. Oh, if you're lucky to get that much. If it, well, that's, that's a long, that's a long yeah. segment. So when you see us here talking, we, and we talk for, we can go on for hours. Yes. Uh, yeah. We prepare. Well, most of the time we <laughs> prepare, but hopefully it's something that people like. And you, yeah. there can be there can be cartoon people, there can be gardening people, there can be uh, art shows, which I do an art show. There can be anything you want to do within you know within the bounds of yes humanity and morality. Well, one thing, Ken, I don't know if you have ever done this, but occasionally when I like that one time I got that much response, you know, the emails and the phone calls. Sure. As a matter of fact, one of the people that I knew came to even down to my house, and he says, I saw your show last night, and it was good. And I did get a few complaints saying that I shouldn't have said what I said, but most of the people did support me, only because, you know, I think it's How my followers. How did they do? Uh, he won. Oh, okay. So what, what I said didn't affect anything. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I like him personally, but uh, just his politics wasn't up to what I liked and how I was going to vote. Uh, so I try to not be, I'm trying to think of the word, I try not to be a, you know, negative negative. I just say, you know, this is your vote. This is how I'm going to vote. You know, you do what you want. Yeah, but you're you're a raving crazy Republican. We know we, <laughs> that, that that's that's just that's just how it goes. But and also, I think people forget that we're under lights, we and are. there are microphones, and there are people right in there that really do a good job. Except for the last time, you and I <laughs> <laughs> were together. They turned my. <laughs> My mic off again. Yeah. No, I, I don't. I don't really know what happened. But. Yeah. So you're a state representative. Let's, let's yes. get a little about you, and you yeah. can talk for your yeah. for your guest up there. Oh, uh, one thing I did forget yes. to say. I'm sorry. I think I must have ADHD or something because I get carrying on, and all of a sudden I'm over here and I'm over here. And well, that, that's good TV. Well, yeah. That, well, that's what yeah. I figured. Great radio too, by the way. But what I do is the next show that I get on. I look right into the camera and I say, you know what? If you don't like what I said, 
then come in here and do your own show. I, I try to promote oh, Goffstown TV all the time. I do better than that. Go ahead. Are well, you and, and, Go well ahead. no, I'm sure you do no, the no, same. No, no, I say if you don't like this show, you come in and sit down, and we'll give you five minutes either to yell and scream at us. We won't say a word. I said this to El Beldasar when he was sitting there. He said, I will not put up with anyone for five minutes. I said, yeah, you will. You're going to get out because if you like the show. And also... They can come in and do their own shows. And they can call up and come on if they want to come on politically. Everybody's looking for more people you to come what? on. I love that. I'm, I'm going to offer that to Goffstown. Anybody wants to come on my TV show for five minutes, I'll give them five minutes. You got five five minutes? Yep, of whatever they want to. So you'll just let them carry on? Just five minutes. You know, they can't swear or anything. Yes. They can call yeah. you a dumb idiot. And, and well, he, yeah. I mean, they should try to be respectful because I, you Well, know. that's... Being called a dumb idiot is, <laughs> is not bad. Well, that's you it. Know. I've been called worse. <laughs> oh, yes. I call people worse than that. Uh, I so, like that. So take that. Well, that's, that's in, as you're right. So anyway, how long have you been a state representative? Uh, I was elected 2010 with that big, giant sweep in. And uh, you've been just, uh, since. well, I was one term ahead of you. You're on your third term then. Yes, I'm in my fourth I'm on my yep, fourth term. Yeah, I'm uh, fifth year. Okay, so you came in with the supermajority. Yes, which I wish we still had. No, but no. Well. The world, I don't think anyone <laughs> should have a supermajority. And I don't think people understand. There are 400 of us, and yes. here we are, 103 Democrats. Now, listen to this. We, let's, we'll use just 20 as for, for you know, committees. There were only four to 16 in the committees of yeah. Democrats. Do you think we got anything? Well, Nothing. The well, the Republicans got a lot. They got everything. And they made fools out of themselves. Well, you know, they, oh, no, the on. governor. They, uh, the governor on. was a Democrat. He vetoed some stuff. And then you guys came back with a two threads, which was simple, and, and overruled <laughs> him. Well, we didn't overrule him on everything. Yeah. Well, we tried. No, super majorities are not good. I just don't, I don't think they're healthy. I, I agree because uh, I think you guys were in the position in 2008 of, you know, you didn't have the super majority, no, no. but you had the corner office. So anything yeah. that passed out of the Senate and yeah. House went to right. uh, um, Governor Lynch and, you know, you guys could you know, as I, twist his arm a little. You know what I said to him? I, 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 Governor, I said, you know, there's many people who hate you as they like you. And I said, that's why you can get along with both parties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, li I liked uh, Governor Lynch a lot. You know, and, and he did a lot of things. I mean, his actual politics, I probably wasn't on the same page of him. But him as a person and the way he ran it is a lot different than Governor Hassan. For example, he used to invite all the state reps in to have, you know, coffee and donuts with them. I was to one of those, yes. Yeah, I just thought that was... And uh, talk, say what, go around the table, yes. say what you want. Yeah. You know, I just thought that was good government because that allowed everybody to get their voice Once out. a week, he would... You couldn't, can't get 400, but it was 50 at a time or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, I think I went in twice. Somebody was going to bail out. You know, they said, I wasn't going to go in there. And I said, well, oh, can I take dumb. your place? Well, that's, that's it. Dumb. And they get said, out. why do you want to go in there? I said, because I want to hear from the guy. And I said, we got to get along. I like him. Well, you know, you say you want to get along, but why are you in murderer's row, well. as they call it? <laughs> I don't know. Murders? Explain what Murderer's Row is. What Murderer's Row is, it's 13 seats. And Murderer's Row comes from, I think it's the 27 Yankees, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. I'm not a sports fan, so, so I had to look this up. I guess they had a row of baseball players in 27. They called the Murderer's Row because they just went up and destroyed everything. You know, they won. Yeah. They, you know, a very powerful group of people. And somehow, I ended up in this role. It, but, but it's because of the speaker yes. getting so upset with 
I guess you, I don't know why you, I mean, you're, you're pretty friendly, unless you kicked him when he was walking by and he caught you. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. No, the, the speaker but likes it, me. But it starts with the former speaker who sat right there for 31 weeks. Well, I sit right next to him at the State House now. That's right, right next to him. Mary Gorman sits right behind you. Yes, I Guys. like Mary. She's a great lady. Oh, everybody likes Mary. Yeah. Mary is... Fair. Oh, she is. Yeah, she's always whacking me in the back. And, I know that. And when she, I, she says yeah. I'm misbehaving. And, and yes. Oh, yes. Oh, you, so she'll she'll you, whack you me. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's 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 Mary. She was my seatmate for two years. That was fun. Oh yeah. Oh, things we were talking about. But now, there, there is uh, Bill O'Brien. Yep. There is yourself. Yep. At the end, there is uh, uh, Stefanak, Representative Stefanak. Uh, Stephen Stefanak. And also Al Baldessaro, who, who they really got mad at yeah. and put it right in the middle. Yeah, yeah. And who else is it? Uh, uh, Sue DeLamis, uh, she's very outspoken. Kapler's very, uh, you know, Representative Kapler's very outspoken. Representative J.R. Hull, extremely outspoken. Well, that what that means is is they're nasty people. Well, and they I give wouldn't say that. A, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and by the way, how we're set up in, in, in the state house is when the uh, speaker can look like this and see the pot here and look like this and see pot here, but most of the time he's standing like this, and there they're up about how many, 15 rows, and there's murderer's row looking right at him, oh, almost yeah, right in the we're, face. Oh, it is. We're eyeball to eyeball with the uh, current speaker. He's pretty brave. He is. Yeah. And, but one, one thing that uh, Representative O'Brien did say, it, virtually every vote... He's going to see, because he looks at this screen off to the side of him, and he can see every seat on how they vote. Yes. You know, if it's green or red, yes. light is yes. lit. Yes, He's going to see a streak of green or a streak of red through that screen, because we vote all the same way oh, virtually. You know, I I sit next to, a, a, and I'm not going to tell you who it is. Uh, he's new. This is his first. Yeah. I sit right next to this this person. He's very quiet. He's finally said hello when I get there. Because yeah. I used to go, hey, how are you? He finally turns and says, hi, how are you? Good. He says, okay. But he's so Republican. So Republican. So when I had an odd bill come up, an odd bill, I mean, give me a break. <laughs> you, there was nothing. Everybody should be for studying with the, how the arts give money to the state, the, the you know, revenue yes. streams. Yeah. And you went to a roll call, and I'm sitting beside him, and I'm saying, don't do that. Roll call, don't press, you know, green for the, you know, to be bad. Why? It's odd. No, he doesn't. Finally, he says, well, one of the reasons why I did that was I was pretty sure it was going to pass, but one of the reasons why I did that, I wanted a high rating on my, and what is it called? Oh, is it HRA, the House Republican uh, Alliance? H. R A. Yeah, the House Republican Alliance. Yeah, he. I discourage anybody from voting their way without understanding. You know, I I discourage anybody from voting anyway without doing the research first. You should not vote for a score. Correct. Yeah. And anybody who hears. So uh, the interesting aspect of that is that Bill O'Brien, why he did that. Is my my bill was like like f fourth or fifth to the last bill of the day, and I said to him earlier, I said, "You guys not going to vote for it?" It's just, he says, "Oh, don't worry about it. It's just, it's just nobody, you know, don't worry about it." And then when the bill got there, it could usually be a voice, okay, yes. yep. because that's all that's really needed. I mean, everybody voted for it in, in committee. Or you can sit down and do it. But he wanted a roll call. So he did the roll And why he did it was, is two bills away, he wanted something. I believe it had something to do with right to work. Yes, I think that did come up that day. Yeah. So what he did is he used my bill yep. to find out who was there. Yep. And he found out there were enough Republicans there. And you guys won that little yes. spat. Yeah. Yeah. But the next day you didn't. No, no, the next day we didn't. 
Yeah, yeah but uh, you know, I think both you know uh, both sides do that. They'll holler because theirs has been I, exactly. I've heard some roll call bills, and I'm like, why are we roll calling this? <laughs> what? Yeah. And then yeah. later it was because you know two or three bills coming up. There's a special vote that's coming, and they want to look at the roll call because currently, for the viewers that don't understand, oh, yeah, yeah, explain. It. I'm uh, sorry. What a roll yeah. call does is it puts you on record. A permanent record of where you voted in within 30 seconds with the current technology and the staff that we have they do an excellent job excellent yeah uh, they get that information right up there within 30 seconds and you can go up to run upstairs and get a copy oh of no that? I look right at on, on my smartphone Really? Oh yeah, I I just type in a number. There's a, a website that I didn't know that. Yep, if you go right to the bill. To where you can see the bill, where it is, and you know who, where the Senate did with it, or whatever. Oh, you know, it'll say roll call. You click on that, and within so, thirty seconds, you can see it right on the House floor. When I got there, it, right in front of you is where you press the buttons. There was yes. a key. Yeah, used to be. Yeah, it used to be a key, right? Yeah. Did you get your key? I do have my key. All right. So they took the keys out one summer, and they they gave us the keys. We're the, we're, yeah. we're the last ones, but the technology. Yes. I mean, to to have that, you, they had to run upstairs before. Oh, they did. And it would take 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah. But now to get that. Yep, it's within 30, 35 seconds, it's it's uploaded. It's that quick now. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, that's just. So that's why, you know, that's probably why uh, Representative O'Brien did that, is that way he knows who's in there. Yeah, but it passed anyway, so we, yes. we, we know it. And yeah. then it goes, uh, my, my favorite thing, ladies and gentlemen, is that the, it's I, it's an odd bill, and basically it is to see where are the, the streams of money, where are they coming from? Yes. Well, who's making it? How is it made? What can we do to help this out? So I have only have eight people, right? And one of them I put, commerce. I'm in commerce, okay? Yep. So it goes to the Senate. So Clark grabs it, and a few other people grab it, and all of a sudden there's like 22 people. Wow, that's a huge committee. From the arts, from the, from the arts, 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 from, from the, the person next door who draws who they know and I don't know. Not an accountant. Uh. Nobody. And there's this one that says commerce, and I'm running around to the speaker, Please, I'm in commerce because he will call down to commerce to find out who John yeah, Hunt, you know, Hunt yeah. would. And I said, John, would you please do that? He says, Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. But I had to fight to get on the committee to work all summer for nothing. Yes. Yeah. But there's 22 on the committee? 22. That's a huge number. Oh, uh, it's just, I, I'm sick. I, I well, at, it's can, probably a little lower than 20. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's 14, I don't know, uh, 15. It's still yeah, a big committee. That is. I said 22. I don't know what I was thinking about. Yeah. I, well, actually, what I was thinking about is is you leaving Golfstown where there were short lines at the post office yeah. <laughs> to go to Manchester. <laughs> There's a stand. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah. So uh, what, it, what is interesting you this year? What, is, what have you done, uh, what has interested you the most this year? Well, why don't we talk about the bill uh, for carrying guns without permits? Oh, yeah, that's uh, up for, well, it's going to go to the governor in the next month or so. And with the number of that bill? Senate Bill 116. Okay, so explain it to the people how they can look at the bill. Yeah, uh, if you go to, uh, uh, Imagine, uh, you know, just type in New Hampshire Senate Bill 116. Uh, it should come up. It should come up. Yeah. You know, if they Google it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the and bill was for? What the bill actually does is currently to carry a concealed weapon, like a, you know, a 22 or a 30 odd six or whatever, in your coat pocket or in your pocket or anywhere that somebody can't see it, you would need a license which happened uh, not quite about 92, 93 years ago is when they put this into place. Okay. A lot of states did that at that time. Okay. And now some of the states, uh, there are four, five that have done away with it. Vermont has never had it. Uh, they've had, a, they call it constitutional carry or Vermont carry is what they call it. And it allows you to carry a gun 
hidden or open without a license. Well, we now, in the state of New Hampshire, what a lot of people don't know, right now we can carry a gun as, like on your, as long like a policeman as it does. is seen. Yep, just like a policeman. Just That's like open a policeman. You have to be seen. If yep. you have a coat that covers it, you can get into trouble. Yes. Okay. Why in the world would you want a person mentally ill carrying a gun? Why? I thought, you, you, They're going to carry anyways. Oh, I see. So, <clears throat> so if we had a system of permits, okay, and they tried to get a license, and they're mentally ill and they can't get a license, then they would break the there's, law. There's no check-in. The p current chief of police of Nashua, Goffstown, or anywhere else has no right to look at his mental, Ill, uh, his mental background. Well, isn't there a question? Have you had mental problems? I'd have to look at the uh, form. Uh, I think it says, have you ever been denied? Oh, that's it? Yes. I'm going to, look. I'm I'll, going I'd to, have to look at it. All right, I don't have a gun, but what I'm going to do, and I've, I've talked to Al, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to file for a permit. You need how many people, two or three people? Yeah, put me down. All right, I'm going to put you down. I'm going to put this <laughs> hour down. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get one. Oh, you uh, will. I will? I, I guarantee you, because it's a shall issue state. They have to issue it or unless they see a major problem, which, you know, they have no right to look into your background. So well, how can... Well, I, I, I think... Al and you, maybe, <laughs> maybe one of you. <laughs> now, now, the other thing is, uh, what, now, your what, wife what? is a better okay. shot, you do know. No. She is. She is not. <laughs> well, I saw oh, when I, she went to my suppressor shoot, uh, because she sits on the fishing game, I invited them that's all. That's right, and, and I you're, went. You're, yeah, you didn't do very good shooting those targets. <laughs> well, you know, I went to throw the gun and better throwing it. And your wife, I mean, she was really, yeah, she was it, it right was on. Yeah, was scaring me. You know, that, that was very, very, very scary. Well, we're down to a minute and 40 yeah. seconds. Uh, yes. I do know you're going to come back next week. I will. Yes, I'd and, love to come back. Uh, that would be very nice. So uh, I hope uh, the people up in, you know, your part of the world thinks that you were treated nicely for this term. But next time I'm going to get the guy. <laughs> yeah. Long lines, you should have never said that to me. How can people get in touch with you? Uh, the best way is uh, they can call me at home, which I love giving out my phone number. I talk to a lot of people. Well, uh, give it out. Yep, 624-5084 is my home phone number. Do you have a website? Yep, I do. It's uh, BertNH.com. So Are you on Instagram or uh, I, Twitter? I, I or? am on Facebook is the best Facebook. way. Yeah, John yeah. Burt, you know, in Gothstown <clears throat> is the best way. I I have signed up for Twitter. I've never sent one, uh, what do they call it, a tweet yet. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I don't know how to do it yet. Well, anybody who knows how to get in touch with me, hopefully. My name is Ken Gidge, and this is the Art of Politics. Uh, Mr. Burt, Representative, will be back next week. Uh, you can get me on, uh, I have a website called Gidge World. Uh, you can just go there and see some of the artwork because I'm an artist. Also, I'm on Facebook. I, we just started Instagram, which is extremely fascinating. And mm. it's, it's nuts. In fact, I think it's past Twitter. But anyway, so I want to thank you very much. Yes, thank you. And uh, we'll see you next week. And I want one more story about what foolish things you do. Anyway. All right. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Thank you.
preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.